98.3 FM It's Tuesday morning The is the other month of uh, July 2021 A very good morning greetings to each and every single soul doing the listen right here right now 98.3 FM uh, Time for us to bring you radio lecture This morning for all level 300 students Still the course EDCR 351 Introduction to Gardens and Counseling Topic for this morning's placement service with your lecturers, Mr. Alfred Anovuga and Ms. Veronica, a clear from the Department of Educational Foundations, University of Education, Winneba. Still, lines will be activated for you to be part of the lecture. Just write down the number ahead of time 0503 923158, Nine two three one five eight and zero three three two three two zero two zero one. Don't forget, test and WhatsApp to the number zero five zero three nine two three one five eight. We're streaming live on Facebook. That's Radio Windy ninety eight point three FM, and we're broadcasting live on the University homepage. That's www.uew.edu.gh. My name is Kim Batuka. On behalf of the morning crew, and without much ado, let me welcome. Um, my guest into the studios, Barrow and Alfred, as they take over your radio this morning. Uh, the leisure is for level 300 students on the topic placement service. Placement service, Vero and Alfred. Good morning, I hope you're doing well. Right, I guess the level 300 students are ready for this morning's radio lecture. Level 300 students from all departments. I hope you are ready for us today. And please don't forget. Take your um, jotters, your pens, and let's get ready, okay, for today's discussion. I call it discussion because you have to call in, you have to send in your phone, um, your phone-ins and all that so that we all learn together. I'm not just coming to talk here alone or my brother. We have to also learn from you, okay? Yeah. So, Ekia, Akosia, Kweku, please be ready. I'll be mentioning names. I don't want any trouble today. So, you can phone in and then give me your questions or your contributions, right? So, today, placement. Placement service. When we hear the word placement, what comes into our heads? Or the small coconut that we have. Okay. Placement. Who are we placing? To where and from where? Is it even necessary to place people? Okay. So when the word comes into our head like that, we should try and break them down into bits so that we become conversant or comfortable with it. It doesn't become something burdensome. We say, no, as for this word, I don't understand. I don't even know what this topic is about. No. All right. So placement is an activity that facilitates the placement of persons in situations or settings that will enable them gain useful information, make satisfactory adjustment and contribute to their total development. Information is there situations we find ourselves we make satisfactory adjustment and we contribute to our total development we get the information we are in such situation this is what we find ourselves in we get the information what do we do with those information do we work with it or we just boycott it and say no we are not interested in it 
if we are interested in it or we do something about it, then totally we develop. But if we don't, we are just at the same place. Okay. I want to um, go to secondary school. I mean, JHS. But I'm not good in science. Yet, I want to go to SHS to go and read science. And science, you know that we have physics, we have chemistry, we have elective maths, we have biology. If you are not good in this aspect, all right, you find yourself in this situation. You have gotten the information that before you read science, this is what you need to do or you have to be good in this or that. I need, to, I want to be a doctor, all right? So after that, what else? What am I going to do with all this information? Okay, so you see to yourself very well. Placement service in school is put into three levels. Placement service in schools is put into three levels. We have the educational placement. Two, career or vocational placement. And then we have social placement. We have three types of placement service in schools. We have educational placement career or vocational placement and we have social placement don't forget that when we talk about um, educational placement it's a situation where efforts are made by the guidance coordinator or officer and teachers to assist in matching student qualifications personal interests and resources with the requirement of institutions, programs, and subjects where they can derive maximum satisfaction. All right? I talked about student qualifications, personal interest, resources with the requirement of the institution, programs, and subjects. Okay, so here, I want to come to the University of um, Education, Winneba. What qualifications do I have? Let's say my background in the SHS or I did a diploma somewhere. I want to do a top up. The program I read first, is it the same program I'm coming to continue with or is it a different program? If it is different, will I be able to understand the nitty gritty? Do I have the foundation in that new course that I want to take. If not, I don't think it's advisable because you find yourself lost in that area. But if you can, you are a fast learner and you think you can venture into it and the institutions allows that, then yes, you will be taken on. But if the institution doesn't allow that, you wouldn't be. Okay. And then from SHS, as I talked about science, you didn't do science, then you want to come you want to go to the medical school. Is it possible? No, it's not. It's not feasible. Okay. So you have to look at your own personal interest. At the end of the day, you have to also look at the institution that the program is being run in. Will I get such a program in that institution? If not, you don't go there. All right. Because if you do that, at the end of the day, there is nothing that you are going to gain. All right. No satisfactory. That is zilch. It is zero. So you have to look at all these things in the educational system before that placement is being done. All right. We talk about the second one, career or vocational placement. When we talk about career or vocational placement, it is about assigning an individual to the job for which he best fits. It is assigning an individual to a job which he or she best fits. Okay, you are a secretary. You can really type fast. Then you are being sent to the warehouse to pack things, packaging. Is that possible? Can you work effectively? Even a day you are supposed to um, pack boxes or put um, water in a box about um, 100 or 200 pieces. And then there is a quota that should be given to you each day. Do you think you will reach that? You wouldn't. But if you are given the laptop or the desktop 
all the typewriter because that is what the oldest used. I don't know whether it's still in existence. I really like the way it was the ke -ke 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 and all that. All right. So if you look at that thing, a secretary's job, it's a secretary's job to be typing, to be filing and all those things. I can't send that secretary to the packaging field. All right. So we have to see or we have to assign people to the job which he or she best fits. We come to fitness in the job, which includes the individual satisfaction as well as his or her interest and abilities in relation to the job. Fitness in the job includes the individual satisfaction as well as his or her interest and abilities in relation to the job. If I'm not fit enough, can I come and stand in front of the class for three good hours? And be lecturing. Sanepa Posib is not possible. Okay. So in every job or in every situation that you find yourself, you have to be fit enough. Before you start the job, you'll be required to go for medical checkup. For the organization or for the institution to check whether medically you are fit enough for that job. If you are sent on an assignment, then you call. I can't go. Everything. I can do it. I can make it. You think you'll be maintaining that job? No, 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 no. You wouldn't be. Before the month ends, you'll be told to go home. All right? And everywhere that you go to, this is what happens. So if you know you are not medically fit, you have to go and see a medical doctor to see what he or she can do for you. All right? The diagnosis coming out with all the preventive measures and everything. So if it is not there, you can't find yourself in any job. And you wouldn't even be satisfied. Because if they are going to Korea, you can't go to Korea. If they are going to China, US, US of A, UK and all that, you can't go. So please, you need to check all these things in career or vocational placement. All right? And don't forget your interest and abilities should also be in the job. If you are not interested in teaching, talking, talking, talking. As for me, I don't talk that much. I don't like talking. Just A, B, I'm done. You can't teach. Yeah. Some people say, oh, that person is really good, but the person do not know how to teach. I don't know how that works anyway, because if the knowledge is there, you just be pouring out some things. And if you don't have the stamina to, as I talked about, you can't stand in front. Um, you have stage fright and all that. Can you stand in front of a class and teach? You have to look at all these things. If you are a doctor and you're afraid of blood, can you do your work when it comes to surgeries or other stuff? Can you? No. Maybe you go to the other field in medical. Okay. Right. Students are assisted to acquire the requisite vocational training needed to acquire jobs according to their interest. All right. Students are assisted to acquire the requisite vocational training needed to acquire jobs according to their interest. I want to work on radio. Okay. What do I do? Where do I go? Do I come to University of Education and then read English? Then after that, I'll tell myself I have to go to the radio station and start working. Not, not. There are aspects. You have to go to the School of Journalism. And we have one in the University of Education, Winneba. So before you enroll in that program or before you even take the forms to fill and all that. That is why we have guidance, all right? Don't forget, our guidance still goes there. You get the necessary information. That's the information service. You get all the required information so that you don't find yourself wanting. You know that, yeah, I want to be a journalist. This is what I have to do. This is the course I need to read and all that. You don't go and read mathematics and tell yourself, oh, I'm a journalist. It's not possible. Okay, so you have to check all these things. You have to look for all this information before you get there. Also, students avail themselves to current development in the
the labor market, including existing job programs and procedures needed to enter into these programs. Students avail themselves to current development in the labor market, including existing job programs and procedures needed to enter these programs. If I want to be a Montessori teacher, what do I have to go? What do I have to do? Where do I have to go? If I don't have the necessary um, result to enter the university straight away, okay, do I go and do a certificate? Do I go to a Montessori school? Do I come to the university and apply and see if I'll get the opportunity or not? You have to find all those things. And then at the end of the day, don't forget we all need what? Lajan, lucre, money. It is important. At the end of the day, what do we get? Okay? If you work and you don't get anything, the interest will be there, but where do you go from there? You can't even buy yourself food to eat, a good meal, a good balanced diet, and all that. Okay? You have to check all these things. Because if... You tell yourself, oh, I just want to work. It is not possible. You just don't want to work. There are beautiful things around that you see. You have to pick um, vehicles from one place to the other. If you don't have money, you can't do all these things. So you have to see where, okay, which industry or which field that when I get into it, it's not just my interest, but it's going to fetch some money. There was some time ago that um, there was this craze for... Um, being a banker, banking, everybody was running into that field, that institution, because the money was there. We we're all interested. Even if you don't have a banking field, it's, ah, I can go and do this course, um, um, DBS, and pass here and pass there, and then get to that field. But please, if the interest is not there, you can do it. Now, though it is still there, but... In terms of money, banks closing down and all that. Please, my business people, don't come and beat me. This is what is happening. All right? Then we talk about, that's the third one, social placement. Social placement is meant to help, okay, develop social skills of children. Social placement is meant to help and develop social skills of children. Peoples are place are, are put in social groups that will foster social interaction and enhance self acceptance. We come to school all right. It is not only about school that will take us outside and will be like, I went to the university, or I went to this uh, tertiary institution, so I'm good enough. No. There's something we say, a fenian sakakra. Okay. If you don't have that kind of um, will to talk to people, to interact, how to interact with people in your dormitories, I'm sorry to use dormitories, in your hostels, in your halls, how do you relate with one another? Even at the lecture halls, it all talks about that social placement. So that when you leave the, organ the institution and you find yourself in the workplace, how do you relate with your co-workers? Do you just get up from your car and you don't care about anybody around you? You don't even say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Those kind of courtesies. All right. I always say that it is not just your colleagues that you have to respect or those ahead of you. No. Everybody matters in life. From the cleaner to whatever. You see them, you have to know how to say good morning. All right, all these things are done in social environment or social place. If you don't have it, you cannot do that. All right, so we have to learn how to do all these things, how to interact with people. Also, the school counselor finds out that, finds out the social clubs that students prefer and tries to encourage them to join. When you come to the university, there are a whole lot of um, societies around, okay? Where do you find yourself? Even at churches. We have Noobs G, 
I know they have their own kind of um, things that they do there. We have past Romana. Past Romana, yes, it's Catholic um, student. Where do you find yourself? Are you going to serve mass? Are you going to join the choir, choir, A, choir, B, choir, C? Tastitians, where do you find yourself? All these things. Okay, the school counselor would help you. In SHS, for instance, I remember there's YCS. Okay, and all those geo. We always want to join something so that we feel belonged. All right, so that we, we are not just left out. When it comes to excursions, we go here, we go there, we know where Inzulezu is, we know where um, Bli Waterfall is, Buti, and all those things. It is through the social, where we find ourselves, where we join clubs, we join groups, we join societies, that we get all these opportunities. Because you don't just get up one day and say, I want to visit all. It is possible that you can tell yourself, oh, I want to go on an adventure. That is beautiful. But it is more beautiful, more healthy, more fun when you are young. All right. So don't forget, if you are not in any group, it doesn't mean that because you join a group or something, your learning habits will come down. We have something we call time management. You manage your time profitably and then you will get there. All right. Is placement important at all? If yes, then let's ride together. If not, please, I'm still riding with you. So listen, okay? Placement service makes students aware of opportunities available in schools and outside the school. It makes students aware of opportunities available in school and outside of school. If I'm in the school, I want to join this organization or I need this, I need that. Who do I see? Where do I go from there? All right. You get all this necessary assistance or information. When you are out of school too, the same placement service helps you get yourself in a better place. It's the teachers who knows you best in the school setting. I think you can do graphics. You are good in sketching. You are this, you are that. That is visual Latins in the SHS. That when you come to the university, we have different types. We have sculpture making, we have basketry, we have a whole lot. So where do you find yourself? You are being placed there. Art in education, that is what you are going to do. But if you are good with animation and stuff, you are good with using the laptop, then you go to graphics. Those nice posters that we see, um, effect animation, you know, they are very expensive, more than those movies that we watch on televisions, Netflix and all that. I want to be this, I want to be that. It is through the care, the guidance of the teachers. Okay, that will take you to wherever you want to do. B, it helps people make appropriate vocational choices and personal adjustment in and out of school. How do I adjust myself in school, in the school environment? I don't know. I remember last week we talked about orientation and we said it is the same as or is known as adaptive. All right, so we are adjusting ourselves in our new environment. If we want to feel that we belong to that community, okay, I talked about the social aspect. That is the placement. That's the types of placement. I need to join this group. What more information can I get from there? Is it going to benefit me in any way or not? If not, religiously, spiritually, physically, and all that, then no, I don't think this is good for me. So all these things will make you aware of where you are supposed to be. 
some people are into some kind of careers, but their hobbies also helps them. And at the end of the day, they earn two salaries because they are good here. They are good there. Everywhere goes. So with this, you know, all your personal interest and abilities as to what you can do and where you can be. Okay. Placement service assists students to choose appropriate schools that offer programs and subjects that match with their abilities and interest. I guess I talked about that in the beginning, but I'm still going to stress on it. I want to go to the SHS or the secondary school. Which secondary school bed first? If I'm good with mechanics and all that. If I'm good in this, I'm good in that. You have to find all those things. And don't forget to, you have to find out about the institution, the grades that they are taking. If it, it doesn't match with the grade that you are supposed to or you have, forget it. You wouldn't get that school. So you have to check all these things. All right, they offer this program. Am I an eligible candidate? Are my grades good to offer that course or that subject in that institution my abilities and interests do they fall in that kind of category is it because mommy is saying that or daddy is saying that that is why i have to go to the school or that is the school that mommy or daddy went to they are all students so i also have to go to that school so that it will be like a family thing no if your interest is not there your abilities you know that that subject or that program that they want you to read you cannot I beg you, just tell them, all right? Tell them so that you do the right course and you don't get yourself wanting, all right? Don't forget what we talked about. From the beginning, I asked whether placement is necessary. Whom are we placing? From where to where? Okay? Then I talked about the interest of student and all that. I talked about the types of placement we have, and we have three types. We have educational placement, we have career or vocational placement, and we have social placement. We also talked about the importance of placement. So I'll be calling names soon, and you'll be giving me answers to that. And do not forget that our phone lines are still open and it's 050-392-3158. And we are streaming live on Facebook, okay? That's Radio Windy Bay 98.3 FM. And then on the investor webpage, www.uew.edu.gh. So don't forget, all right? Now... Upon all these things that we have talked about, how do we establish placement services in school? How do we establish placement service in school, my brother? Well, thank you. Looking at um, the explanations that has gone on about placement service, now we would have to turn our attention on how do we provide that to the peoples in our schools. So in providing placement service in schools, whether it is um, educational placement, it is a social placement, or it is a career or vocational placement, the guidance officer or the school counselor would have to take certain things into consideration. And one of these ones is um, looking into the school system. What are the social clubs? What are the clubs that are there? What are the societies that are there? So looking at your peoples in the school, uh, you know how they are, how they behave, where you can suggest to fit them to function well among their friends in and outside the school. So you look, you consider these societies that are there, like uh, my sister had mentioned. In some schools you go, we have cadet, cadet is there, we have the music group or the choir group, we have um, reading clubs um, and others in the various secondary schools, universities and some junior high schools. So the counselor looks at um, these ones, looks at how they are. Looking at the individual, the way you are, you are someone who do not want to uh, 
um, avail yourself or you call back when there are issues, when there are, uh, you are supposed to play and open up with your friends. So maybe the counselor or the guidance coordinator finds out that this acquisitor is someone who doesn't find it difficult to open up, to relate well with others. So you can go ahead to suggest to acquisitor to join one of these groups that will help her develop her social skills and then know how to relate well with others. You know, we are not, uh, uh, we are all social human beings. You cannot be alone. You would have to get close with friends, uh, relate well with them so that you don't hurt their emotions. And as well, they too do not hurt your emotions. So the counselor needs to look at this. And then you help them to be placed and function well. Also, there is a need that as a counselor, you provide people with information. When it comes to educational placement, you would have to be um, uh, so versatile about um, educational information. You have to know some of the requirements in the, the secondary schools around. You have to know um, the strengths of people in your school. So when you have available information about entry requirements, about the school calendar, about issues that can help people place well or move into that school to benefit from their academic activities, then you, the teacher or the guidance coordinator, would have to make that information available to your students to help place them. So um, you can make this information available by putting them on posters, by talking to people in some of the guidance programs. Okay, this is school B in this community. This is what is required to go there. This is school C in this community. This is what happens there. These are the subjects. These are the, the courses we can do. These are the programs, whether visual art, whether it is um, uh, economics, or whatever program that they do there. With this, you are helping them to know that, okay, uh, this is how I am, this is what I want, and I can find it here. So with your assistance, they are able to make choices um, into the secondary schools or the next level of education where they can function well. And then you have to extend a little bit to talk about uh, going into read visual art. What job opportunities are there? You see, so you try to relate the the courses or the subjects that you have chosen to the uh, the jobs that you likely can fit in when you complete these uh, programs. So the guidance coordinator or the counselor has this task in providing. So the moment you engage yourself in doing all these things, you are trying to facilitate placement of people at all the levels that we talked about. In addition to that one too, you don't only place them you try to help them, play. You, 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 you place them and then you make a full up. So placing people from junior high school to secondary school, when they are at their final year in the junior high school, you help them make choices like we said, so that they can function well in the secondary schools. Then you would have to uh, let them know the classes that are available in this and that school. Then you would have to make follow up to see how they are functioning. Are they okay in that environment or they are not okay? So when you place someone, let's say in a choir, or you suggest someone to be placed in a, 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 a club, you need to follow up to see how the person is functioning. Is the person functioning well or not? You need to make further as, as suggestions or help the person to adjust well, then you would have to do it. So placement service is very important as uh, my other colleague has um, um, emphasized. So in establishing placement service in the school, these are things you need to consider and also uh, help them place well. Uh, placement service, you have to work in consultation with the, um, the industries, with parents, with other teachers as well. As a guidance coordinator, you, you do have everything. You need to move out, make consultations, make the inquiries and bring the information back to the students. You would have to make suggestions or consult with parents. You see, talking about consultation service, you see that we, we, we have gone back to talk about another service to support in providing uh, placement service. You cannot uh, single-handedly uh, place people as a guidance coordinator. No, the people are coming from various homes, 
with various backgrounds and interests. And some of them may not be able to know how they are until you get down to their parents to get to know how they really are. Then you can support them to be placed. So you need to make consultations with parents and other teachers, class teachers, so that they will help you help the people to be placed well. Then, um, apart from that one, you would have to um, help them. When you are suggesting a job or suggesting a senior high school, how are they going to get there? So let's say in a job, you are suggesting a job for them to be placed. You'd have to take them through the processes involved. What procedures are there that you need to follow? So the counselor's job, you don't only suggest and help to place. So the helping process takes a lot of activities that you need to do. So you have to um, 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 work with them. You have given information about the school. Yes. How do I get there? What are the processes involved? Would they be interview into that job? Would they be application? Would you have to go visit the place? And all those things. So the counselor needs to, or the school guidance officer, would have to make all these things um, to help the people place well. These are the ways you can do, or what are some of the things you can consider when you are uh, trying to establish or help provide placement service uh, in schools. So we're still waiting on you to um, hear from you. You can call, you can text, you can WhatsApp on 050-939-23158. You can WhatsApp, you can text. You can also phone in. We're also streaming live on Facebook, Radio Windy Bay, 98.3 FM. We are here for you. is what we are discussing today placement service who are we placing to where and from where is it necessary to do placement and do not forget that placement service is not done on its own okay it needs to be done with other services we talk about information. You need information before you can place somebody. We need to consult, not just with the parents, but with teachers and other stakeholders, and even the student or the child himself or herself, okay, before all these things is done. Placement service, as I explained, facilitates the placement of persons in situations or settings that will enable them gain useful information, make satisfactory adjustment, and contribute to their total development. We have three types of placement services in schools. We have the educational placement, we have career or vocational placement, and social placement. Is placement necessary at all? Is it important to place people? Yes, it is. It is very important. 
Where are you going? What are you going to do? Those things that you are looking out for, are they in that institution? Does your interest, does your abilities, does your grade allow that to be done? If not, what do you have to do? Do you have to go and do a reset? Do you have to look for something that matches with your interest and ability and your grades at the same time the requirement of the institution? You have to check all this. You have to match all these things. If they are in line, then voila, you get it. But if not, you have to do something else to better yourself, to get to that field or to get to that level. We talk about career or vocation placement. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a medical doctor. I want to be a teacher. What course am I going to read in this particular institution? Even if this is what I want to read, do they have it in that institution? Do I also qualify to take that program? If I'm afraid of blood, do I work as a nurse? Do I work as a medical doctor, a lab technician, a paramedic? You have to look for all these things. You have to look at yourself. You have to set yourself down. Am I good in it? Am I good at it? Will I be? Will I enjoy it? At the end of the day, what am I going to get out of it? You have to look at all these things. The institution that I want to attend, do they have that particular subjects? Am I going to get something out of it or I'm just going to help other people to finish and then come home and I ask myself, what did I do at all? All right. We talk about the social placement. How is going to teach you how to interact, not just with your heads or with the big, big bosses, but with your colleagues too. Do you say hello or you are scared to even talk in public? You know, through the social interaction, through joining societies, clubs, debate clubs, scout organizations, or the, all the societies in churches and other things, you realize that if you are a timid person, you become flexible. If you are somebody who cannot talk in the crowd, because you are hearing Akosia every now and then, Kweku, what at all do they have that they can talk like that? Is this some kind of magic? Can I also do something? That will also encourage you to also become better. You don't just have to sit behind the bench and, oh, they should talk. They know it. Or they can do it. No. You also will try. So through the social placement, you see that, okay, I can also do something. So when they are given positions, you see that we have the president, the secretary and staff, financial. You say, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. It is through this. You don't just go to the school. You have to get something. Some people are good in athletics. They are running for Ghana and all that. They are making it big. There's somebody I read about, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the correct information. A woman, she runs for a country, she's a, a white, she's a medical doctor as such too. So you see, she's doing all these things and not that to helping people too in society. So we don't just go to school and acquire all those degrees. No, not just that. We need to interact. We need to get involved in certain things, in societies, in clubs. You realize that when you come out, how you are able to stand bold, to stand in front of a crowd, is all through this interaction, this social placement that you went or you did. Okay? It just doesn't happen in a vacuum. Importance.
Okay. Good morning. Benedicta from Social Studies. My question, please repeat the definition of placement. Okay, madam. Placement is an activity, okay, that facilitates the placement of persons in situations or settings that will enable them gain useful information make satisfactory adjustment and contribute to their total development it's an activity that facilitates the placement of persons in situations or settings that will enable them gain useful information make satisfactory adjustment and contribute to their total development bene i hope you had it Okay, somebody, Sam, Ben, Sam wants to know if career placement, is it okay, he says, um, cl um, please clarify for me whether we can substitute vocational placement with in-service training. No, uh, vocational placement, we are looking at the child's interest or the student's interest what the student wants to do, then you support the student to uh, get that job to do. In-service training um, comes differently after you have been placed. In-service training, yes, you are in the job already, and um, they're providing some services for you to function well so that you can uh, come up with the best of your ability. So before you are placed in that job, what it what it takes for you to get to that job mm -hmm. is about placement. Uh -huh. okay. Right, Ben Sam, I hope you got that. So there's a difference between the career placement and in service. All right. Importance of placement is it? important at all okay don't forget to call our line we are still here for you zero five zero three nine two three one five eight zero five zero three nine two three one five eight we are streaming live on the university webpage www uew edu gh and also on facebook Radio Windy Bay, 98.3 FM. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, my name is Samuel, French Department. Okay, Manuel. And I would like to find out, with all the guidance services, can they be arranged in order of importance? Because I realized before one, one must be done. I don't know whether you are getting my phone. Please, could you turn down the volume of your radio set? Please, I'm still waiting for your call. Okay, so please call back because I didn't get your question. Please don't forget to call in 050-392-3158. Zero five zero three nine two three one five eight. Hello. Yes, I was asking with the guidance services. Yes. Um, I've realized before one is uh, uh, administered, one must be done before. So I'm asking whether they can be arranged in order of importance. Which one must be done first before following up with uh, another guidance service? Okay, thank you very uh, much for that question. Yeah, I know that question baffles a lot of people, but you realize that as we we're talking about placement service, we're also talking about information and consultation. So they don't work just on their own on that pe um, pedestal, they work hand in hand. Okay, so we don't have that. Oh, appraisal is first, 
evaluation is last followed by this or that or that no they work hand in hand as you're working this one comes into play during orientation we give you information we tell you who to consult all right we tell you that okay this is what has been done you'll be placed here you'll be placed there it doesn't just work you know, you can get counseling service here or there all these things they work hand in hand they don't work in isolation all right my brother thank you i hope you got it all right hello hello madam hello mademoiselle please could you turn down the volume of your radio set okay madam all right thank you we are not clear about how to establish the placement at the places. You are not? I'm not clear about the establishment of placement service. Okay. All right. When you are in a school setting, okay, if you, let's say that, it's a secondary school. We are not using tertiary that you know A from B. I need to give you the necessary information, the nitty gritty about things that happens in the school when it comes to your leisure times. And then if that club tool is going to help you in your vocation, if there is a debate club, and I think you're really good I can tell you, ah, pre C, this and that, you are good in that. I think you, it will help you because you want to be a journalist. And if you are in the debate club, there's something we call fetch, fetch. Okay, you always want to read, you always want to know why this thing is going on, why that, why this. Okay, so with that, it's going to help you, not just in your social life. But wherever you find yourself after school, because you want to do journalism. So if you want to be a journalist and you only sit in your room, armchair introspection and be writing things down and tell yourself that this is what I'm broadcasting to the whole world. You have not done enough investigation. Okay, so if you come into the schools or the university, this is what you are being told. We have this, we have that. All right. But as an adult, you know that, okay, this is going to help me or not. But in the secondary schools, the teachers tell the student that this would help you. Or sometimes even a counselor or people even go to them and tell them that this is who I am. I want to do this. I want to do that. As a guidance coordinator, how can you help me do that? All right. That is what is being done in establishing placement in schools. All right. We provide them to with information about educational and vocational opportunities. So it is not just about what you are in the university, you are in this after your program. What next? Where are you going from? All right. All these things come into play here. I hope you get me, my sister. Okay, Rukia said helping one to choose a partner helping one to choose a partner that is also does that also fall under placement service um rukia n let me take it well um uh, helping someone to uh pick a partner mm -hmm. well um it, it it can also be one of the examples of social uh placement However, the emphasis is not on the, the, the partner, but um, how to get along with um, other people in the society. Let's say you're a friend with um, the opposite sex in the school, and uh, you as a teacher, you realize that the relationship that is going on between Kojo and Ama um, is not healthy, it will not help them, then you would have to go in and then help resolve that issue. You realize that Ama is someone who is, uh, doesn't want to come close with other people in the secondary school, in the university, and realize that, oh, this person is of age and would, would, would be able to uh, 
um, uh, make a friendship with the others to towards the future, let's say getting married. Fine. So how do you get make friends? How do you get along with those friends? How do you uh, make uh, uh, healthy friends with um, that person? So if the counselor is trying to help you get along with a friend, take into consideration your age, yes. You know, when it comes to, when you talk about partner, it's not for children at the primary school or under age, you know. It's for adults like those in the universities, fine. So if it is something like that, that you have availed yourself, that you have chosen to go in the marriage vocation, that is what you want to do. So helping you to take friends or take a partner is also part of the placement as well. So it depends on the age of the person and what you're looking for. If you lack that skills, you lack that ability, that courage, and the counselor is supporting you to adjust yourself and be strong enough to make that friendship, that friendship work, it's also part of placement. Okay. Georgia from home, home economics. You said, can nepotism and favoritism be a factor base on the way the system is working in our days? Yes, not for this question. We are talking about placement service. So the system, you have to come clear again. What system are you referring to? We are talking about placement service in schools. How you can help your peoples or your students be well placed to meet their total development uh, in the school system and outside the school. You need to come clear. Please, the phone line again is 050-392-3158. 050-392-3158. Okay, colon, is that, um, is placement valid? Because sometimes it is very difficult to know the real personality of a person. Your second question too is, as a counselor, is it always necessary for someone to come to you before you can help that person? No. All right. So, um, Colin, as a counselor, you realize that if you go to a class or you are used to a particular class you teach, you realize that there will be some people who are always asking questions in class or having smiley faces. As time goes on, you realize that that person doesn't ask questions in class again. It's just quiet and always with a frown. As a counselor, you have to call the person out, not in the midst of the class, but when class is over, you can call the person, oh, can I... Hello, can I see you? If you know the person's name, because the person has been asking questions continuous in class, you have to draw the person out. Okay. Later, then you talk to the person. So we have something we call voluntary, involuntary client and all that. Okay. So with that, the person didn't come to you. You have to call the person out. So Colin, it is not always that you have to come to the counselor. If the counselor sees something that's not going on right, the counselor can invite you as well. Then about um, placement being valid. Yes, Colin, it is valid. All right. We cannot do without it because look at our school system. All right. If you don't remember, I remember vividly before um, I went to SS. Am I good in this? That is what the teachers do. They invite parents to come to the school, sit you down with your ward, and then the teacher too will be there. Oh, your child is good in this or that. So we think the schools and that school will be appropriate for him or her. And then this subject or that subject is as good enough for the person to take or not to take. So yes, it is valid because if, it is not done. You just go in there and do something that at the end of the day, it doesn't suit you. Your interest is not there. It doesn't also fit your personality. 
or your abilities, what you can do. And don't forget, it's not just about you going to that institution. Oh, this boy went to this school. This lady went to this school. No. At the end of the day, what are you coming out with? Where do you find yourself? Do you find yourself in an organization? Are you working? Are you okay there? All right. Are you giving in your best shot? Because that is what you want. And that is what is needed over there. So if you are not doing all those things, then please, no. All right. All right. Gloria in French uh, department wants to know. She says, good morning, madam. Thank you very much for your presentation this morning. I want to know when and when to get information on placement service. Placement service uh, information is, is available all the time and uh, in at your service. If you're talking about the university system here in the UEW, uh, it depends on your interest. You get in touch with um, um, uh, the guidance coordinator, any counselor, and then together with you, then we talk about your interest first and what you want to do b based on the course or the program you are reading. If you're a teacher outside there and um, you're asking when students can get information service, or placement service, placement service, you would have to, the, the counselor or the guidance coordinator in collaboration with the teachers, the classroom teachers, provide placement service, information about placement service to students. So the student would have to avail himself or herself. Uh, then the counselor, in collaboration with the, the parents and teachers, will assist to see your interests. Where can you be placed? Where can you function well? And then that is done. But the information really, um, they are not put out there for you to say, okay, go here, get uh, information about placement. You will need to avail yourself, make your interest known, then the appropriate assistance will be given to you. Okay, Georgia from Home Economics. All right, you sent a message back. You were asking, um, you said, some individuals just go into the teaching fields because they do not have any options or some people work in the teaching field because they have been favored to manage a particular subject yes we have all these um, people sometimes you see that someone is not good enough but is placed somebody because that person knows somebody somewhere but we should also not forget that placing that person there that person is going to impact lives okay so any jargon that you give those kids are the things that they are going to produce so if the interest is not there the ability is not there i don't think we should place those people in those fields because they are just going to put filth in their system they are coming out and not producing anything in society just imagine as an individual okay let's say you are being favored by somebody big somewhere you go to a school and you are teaching the student, you are teaching these pupils, and what you are telling them, you know that it is not good. And at the end of the day, they don't come out to produce anything better. Inwardly, will you feel good? I don't think so. All right? So let's all check these things. Interest should be there. Abilities should be there. So even somebody is helping me to be placed somewhere, we should also think about it as humans as we are okay lila jonah okay from special education so, um, is it necessary to compare the financial level of student parent before giving him or her the placement service yes jonah it is very important okay Let's say you want your child to go to this big, big schools. I don't want to mention any school. And you realize that the kind of fees that they are taking, it's higher than other schools that are closer to you. If you look at your financial abilities, your child will go to the school. Yes, you want your child to do this or that. But if there's a, a school closer to you, it's a day school. And 
that is what you can afford the school t- it is good not that is they don't produce good student and you think you can do all these things then it's better you take that one than sending your word to the boarding school or something that you can't do that okay hello hello good morning good morning sir yeah please my name is bashiro okay bashiro. Yeah, yeah, let yeah, from uh, basic education department okay thank you yeah, okay. Bashiru, let me hear your question. Okay. Madam, please, uh, about the educational placement, that I want you to, I mean, uh, decide for today to, for me to get the understanding. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, so as I was talking, let me finish with this person, then I'll answer your question. I'm sorry. So, Jonah, with that, okay, if you don't have the necessary financial assistance from anywhere, okay, you don't have that ability and you think the school which is closer to you will be enough and it's good too. They are reading all the courses that your child needs. Yes, the teacher or whoever is in charge can help you come out with all this, the pros and cons of where, of where your child is going to. All right, Jonah, thank you. All right, educational placement, as I said, is a situation where efforts are being made by guidance coordinators or officers and teachers to assist in matching student qualifications, personal interest, and resources with requirement of the institution, programs, and subjects where they can derive maximum satisfaction. I'm matching the student qualification. That is after SHS, your result. All right. Is it good enough? Your personal interest. Do you really want to go into that field? Resources. Okay. So Jonah, we come back here. Resources. Do you have the money to go into that program? We all know that going into medicine, it takes a lot. Okay. It takes a lot of money. So is there money there? Can your parents afford? Do you have any kind of organization that is going to foot that bill, scholarships and all that? Remember also that the institution that you are going to, you want to be a medical doctor, yes. But what kind of medical doctor? Is it surgeon, neurosurgeon? We have different, different types. Do they run those programs there? All right. The subject too. And then at the end of the day, it is you. Are you going to derive any satisfaction from it? If you are not going to get anything out of it, then you haven't done anything. You don't even have to go there. Because at the end of the day, I'm working. Then as I'm teaching students, they are getting what I'm teaching. I ask questions. Questions are running all over. It gets to examination. Oh, they wow me. That is what I say to my student. Okay. They just blow my head off. And I'm like, ah, which means all the kukunkaka and jargons that I've been saying, this student got it. All right. Or even after I go somewhere and I see you in this office or that office. Oh, I thought I've been out some years back. You just be happy. So all the satisfaction is important in educational placement. Okay. Thank you, Bashir. All right. Um, Sometimes someone too can be good in something, but doesn't have the interest. In that, um, that is what I asked. Okay, because I have a friend back at home who is very clever in academics, but doesn't want to proceed in education, but rather want to divert to a different field. All right. Yes, this is true. There are some people who are naturally gifted. Okay. And they think that, all right, at the end of the day, you are coming to school. What do you get out of it? The satisfaction and all this. And I talk them about money, lucky, la jeune. They are all important. 
So he sees that, okay, me going to waste my time in the university at this time. I can be doing this thing. I can be building robotics and all that and would earn me this. Or I can be doing some entrepreneurial something and I'll get this money. And I'll get to that level. Then later in life, they because they have gotten to that level, they will definitely get those information from you, their colleagues. Because they see that you just didn't go to the university for nothing. You have acquired something that they think that can also help them in their industry or their field. So yes, they'll come back to school. That one I bet you. No matter where they are, the good money that they are making, they'll still come to school. So that they can sell themselves better in life. Okay, colon. Alright, Ekia wants to know that if you did not get counseling for placement service at the beginning and now you are placed somewhere that you don't like, what do you do? So, um, already this one you are placed. You are placed in a place that um, you don't like because you do not have that opportunity of um, getting um the services of someone to help you match your interest with your qualification and to drive the maximum satisfaction that we're talking about here so here it comes to a point you need to you need to adjust in some workplaces it's not easy moving and even if you want to move you ask yourself moving from here where do you go so if you do not get that uh, assistance to match your interest with a job you are working right now but you are not interested in the place you are working if you can adjust you will need the assistance of a counselor to help you adjust well what is making me not being satisfied with the work i'm doing um there are so many issues that can come up is it relationship is it your personal satisfaction is it the income you are getting is it the time that you spend is it the location of the job it it comes with a lot of issues so um what we can do here is for you to adjust yourself you speak with someone speak with a counselor then together you see how you can adjust if it's a place where you think you can quit and get a different job to match your interest fine that also has to come with um a lot of considerations you still need to talk to someone to assist you um adjust well okay Abigail from French department, um, you want to know, you said if um, your teacher thinks you are good in a particular field and your mother thinks otherwise, all right, but you also think that you are different or your interest is different from what both of them are talking about, how well can you explain to them and allow them to know where your interest lies? Okay, so Abigail. You want to come to the university. You have built or let's say SHS. And I always say that at that level, you don't have much say because they are going to pay your fees. But there are some parents too that will make sure that they look for the interest of their children or their wards. Teacher has said this, and I think you are also not good in that field. You are not that good in that field. You can do this thing. When I was talking about um, some of the points, I talked about your mom. It's a generational thing. They went to this school. They read this program. So they want you also to do the same. All right? If you can't do that for them, you just have to see the counselor. So the counselor will invite your parents and talk to them on your behalf if you can't do it yourself at home. So that they will let them know that, okay, this is, you think I'm good in this subject. That's a teacher. Mommy or daddy also thinks I'm not good in that subject, but in this subject. But I think that this is what I can do best. And I'm going to enjoy it. So you have to see the counselor in consultation with your teacher and your parents. And at the end of the day, you are also going to join in. And they'll come out with all the pros and cons. Abi, this is what you want to do. But in this field, this is, and that they will explain everything to you. If you think you can still do it, 
all that the counselor needs to do is to let your parents know. Because sometimes you push the child somewhere and if the interest is not there, they won't even work. They'll go to school and they'll even go for lectures or they'll even go to class or they'll go and sit there, write something down and say, you asked me to come, so I'm here. So if they do all these things, you will find yourself in a better place. If communication or information is given well, you find yourself in a better place. Thank you. All right. This is coming from Edna from Home Economics Department. He's asking, in case you are able to detect the characteristics of the individual and you place the person and uh, he or she doesn't like the institution, what do you do as a counselor? Good. This is where school teachers and counselors need to be cautious so that you don't uh, force people to institutions, you don't force people and put them in programs or force them to read certain subjects. You remember, we emphasized on consultation. So you have to consult with the student, get to know the student's interest first. You are not placing the person as a counselor solely by your interest because it is a person that is going into that subject or that school or to do that program. So you would have to get to know the person's interests. Is the person interested in the home economics you are going to do? Are you interested in the courses or the subjects you are going into? Are you interested in the school that you are going? So your, your job as a counselor, you would need to provide information about the school, what is happening there, the courses, the program, the subjects, the location, the requirement. Then allow the person to make a choice. You can consult with the parent. Let the parent have a... Um, a say in all that so that in case there's a turn down or the person uh, gets there and there's a problem it doesn't come back to you as a counselor as you who placed but you are to facilitate support to do the placement so that it doesn't come back to you as a counselor however if it happens that all these things were done the person was placed and got there and saw that no this is not where i should be you can still make a follow-up. That's why you need to make a follow-up service after placing the person to see how the person is functioning. If you realize that the person is not functioning well, you can still do further support to let the person adjust and be placed well. Thank you. Don't forget to call to test and also bring in your WhatsApp, okay? On 050-392-3158. 050-392-3158. So today we talked about placement service. What placement service is? Is it? We talked about the types of placement service in schools. We have educational placement. We have career or vocational placement. We have social placement. And we also ask ourselves whether placement is necessary at all. If it is necessary, what goes into it and what comes out of it? Then we also discussed how do we establish placement in schools? All right. How do we establish it? And we talked a whole lot about how we find ourselves in societies, in clubs and other things. And it's not only for leisures, but it's in line with our vocation what will come out to be later in future all right because we realize that some of us are just shy but when we get to the university or we get to the tertiary level all those things go off all right your first semester second semester you see that things are changing you are not who you were there are certain things, if you couldn't talk, you couldn't ask your parent for something, now you realize that uh, you can talk. Then they'll be like, hmm, I think my child is not just learning the books, books, books. It's learning some kind of interaction and all that. And then you start, oh, I want to read at church. But at first, though you can really read well, you say, no, I'm afraid of crowd and all that. But if you go through this... um this sensitization okay systematic desensitization you realize that ah now i can't even speak in public i'm using my friends because you are doing presentations in class and you have to stand in front of your colleagues so with that you are trying 
you gain some kind of you know power and then interest oh, i can do it i can do it though i'm shaking a little bit i can do it the, it gets better by the time you get to level 400 you are the ogbara of the system and when you go home you want to be part of all the societies and stuff and then you want to be seen and known okay all right thank you okay all right okay in case you are yeah. able to detect the characteristics that's all Ah, uh, okay all right okay uh, thank you edna thank you very much for understanding edna says she understands okay all right thank you all right so today we talked about placement services placement services is it necessary to place somebody who are we placing in the first place from where to where when the word comes into our heads how many types of placement services do we have in our school settings we talked about educational placement we also talked about vocational or career placement we talked about social placement and we also talked about the importance of placement in schools and how to establish them okay in schools because if we talk about placement is it done in isolation then we found out that no it's not done in isolation we have to get informations and then we have to consult all right there's counseling also comes in all these things so we have to know that the services the guidance services do not work in isolation or we have an order for them that this one is superior and then this one is this or that because in the same placement we could see that we're doing some follow-ups we're doing some evaluation too so there is nothing like an order in the guidance services they all work hand in hand so please do not forget that okay and also don't forget that next week all right next week there will also be another person coming to talk on one of the services so please be glued to your seat to your beds and don't forget the notepads and then your pen so that you can take some points down you can even write the things that baffles you when you see us or even you can send the messages and anytime we get access to it we'll give you the reply so that it helps you in your daily lives all right thank you very much and have a blessed day
just the right Windy Bay 98.3 FM This is this Radio Windy Bay Windy Bay 98.3 FM FM This is Radio Windy Bay, Windy Bay, 98.3 FM. Network. A Yapomode, a Jumaku Cassia, a Yase Adiatum, Sir Oyapomodimu, or Yonkopa, or no so, and what to know who I was say, a Bania or Fremno, primary health care, yea, a year upomodin Shaya, yes, so be answer, a remo be, not in Fahu, and in Yenipano, a war, and a beam, a man in saying, and near war upomode, and here, dear, almost some, and a year papa, or monam hospitals. Clinics and a maternity homes, a ya would jim me a won't put a muso and was some yen. She share a pomodin be a bea, who be won't blue star a son so dear, set a dasua, a bear wo, now Maristov's Ghana, a bow and chido, blue star healthcare network. I mean, Obi Mia, a wo, Otto Memorial Hospital, I walk a jubi do winiba, the beach of Wajia, from home a true face, zero two zero eight one six nine one zero four, and now zero eight zero zero two zero eight five eight five. Can you say? Yeji health insurance ho and into be to me do health insurance aba beji ayehwe blue star that's your pomodia eh your papa blue star health care network it's quality it's affordable and we're so caring and on the way from love only the two of us to get the love the sea is the potion that eternally heals every wound Samuels every barrier, moves mountains, and ultimately the number one key to unlocking every door in life. But I say, the love to man is like honey to bees. Love is in the air. All these and more are embedded on the wings of love. Live on 98.3 FM, on air and online. On the Wings of Love program, we interspace. 
good love tunes with your love messages. Is it that your partner is away? That you will want to reach out to him or her and to let him or her know how much you miss him or her? Have you found a new love? Or you are ready in love? Is your relationship going through difficulties? Or you are already heartbroken? How is your relationship going? Is it sweet or sad? Then tune in to Radio Winnie Bay 98.3 FM, your ultimate love program, Wings of Love. Add this and every Thursday, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. Send us all your love messages through the program for them to be shared with the rest of the world on WhatsApp or test us on 0503 923158. And on Facebook, it's Radio Windy Bay 98.3 FM. On this program, only the two of us together flying high upon the wings of love.